Hello modelers, this is Derek, also go by DRock on RC Groups. Today we're going to be modifying uh, the Gullows P40 Warhawk, which I had built uh, a few months ago. I did quite a few modifications to this model. Um, it drew up a lot of the own parts from CAD and had them cut. But one thing I did retain, um, which was probably not the best choice, was to use the free flight model's airfoil. So if you look at it from the profile here, it's kind of hard to see in the lighting, but it's got a very sharp leading edge there. There's not a lot of under camber to it. Um, and that's something that has made the airplane very pitch sensitive when flying it. So my intention is to do a modification where I'm adding a little bit more to the underside here of the airfoil, um, more rounding the leading edge, making it less sharp, and hopefully that will tame some of the pitch sensitivity with this airplane. Other than that, it's a neat little model. I've really enjoyed it. Um, and let's see if we can't tame that. I'll uh, show you what we're gonna do next. So what I've done is I've taken and marked lines that is a center line of each of the tip and the root rib. That is gonna be as far back as we're going to do the modification. And I split that yet once again into half here. Um, and of course, at the, towards the, the, uh, the root of the wing. What my plan is, is to put a, basically it's a, a sturbulator here, and that is made from one eighth, and then halfway back from the distance that we had marked is a one sixteenth square uh, turbulator. Once these are glued on, I'll go around the edges of, of the, this one here, and then from this line here forward, I'm going to recover the wing in tissue making sure I overlap the leading edge to ensure we have that nice round um, curvature at the beginning of the airfoil. Uh, we'll show a little bit more progress in a moment. So here the strips have been applied, as you can see here. Um, I did slightly, before I glued them on, bevel them uh, so they would blend in with the wingtip, but I haven't yet done the leading edge on, on the front strip, so that will be next. And here we are with the leading edge rounded. So next will be to apply the tissue from this line here, wrapping around the leading edge here to make sure that we got a nice smooth transition from the leading edge to towards the tail of the wing. So now we're ready to cover the structure with lightweight tissue. As you can see here, I've roughed out a basic shape. I've created a little additional overhang, and that's to help with pulling it taut. I've also marked some additional lines here. If you can kind of see, it's a little bit difficult in pencil. What my intention is, is to glue the trailing edge in that quarter inch width. And I've also marked that on the top of the surface, and I'll explain why in just a moment. So here we have the top covering. Um, you can see there's a small mark on each corner. That's to indicate the quarter inches where we want to apply the glue. We're going to be applying a glue stick, uh, the kind that's, that starts out purple but dries clear, across this quarter inch piece. Here the glue stick has been applied. You can see that it's still purple, which indicates that it's still not uh, fully dry yet. What I've used is a piece of paper here as a uh, protect it so that I don't get I get a nice clean line. Next we'll be applying it to the wing. And the tissue has been applied. So you can see our line here is where we want the trailing edge of this piece to be, but we're allowing that quarter of an inch overlap. What I'll also do is go with some uh, water-based easy dope and um, seal up until that line as well. And here you can see that it has been applied. I also used a very thin coat of Easy Dope to help seal the edge. We'll let that dry, we'll fold it over and attach the rest of the tissue. So here you can see we've applied the tissue. What I did was I folded it over back onto itself. Um, I used the glue stick on this turbulator as well as the leading edge and some of the top of the leading edge, which was the original piece. The reason being is I don't want to get a divot in, I want it to be a smooth surface. So there is an area that's a bit of a gap between the two pieces, um, and that's just gonna be shrunk to tight to make it one smooth thing. Using this material here, um, Deluxe Tissue Paste, 
thinned out a little bit here and there, um, just depending on where the structure will be. Now, granted, this probably doesn't look the best, especially when it's still dry. Um, this is more of a test, as well as the bottom of the airplane, so I'm not too concerned about the looks, as you can also see elsewhere in the model. Um, let this dry thoroughly, and then I will go over how we do the shrinking. So you can see here, we've now um, shrunk this up. I've given it a spray with flat clear. What we have left to do is remove the excess. So there's a couple of different ways you can do that. If you want to, you can get a straight edge and cut it. One tip I've learned to do is if you actually sort of cut a frayed edge, it will blend in better. And the easiest way to do that is just with a little bit of water. So we're gonna wet the edge here so it'll tear easier. And then just carefully peel back and tear. And the reason why you want to have it is it helps create a non-distinct sharp line that the eye is drawn to. So once this is done, I'll cover it with the easy dope to glue it down. And then with a light, light sanding after that glue is dried with the easy dope, you will be able to have a nice feathered finish.